Welcome back to the series of GPT-2. I'm going to add this third video and in this video we are going to fine tune GPT-2 using the GPT-2 simple to create a chatbot. First of all head in description and open this link. Then you have to click on the first link. You can either open this in new tab and once this link loads up you have to save it as JSON file and select your desired location and save it with your desired name as I'm doing in this video. And next open the new link a collab link from the description and you should see over here now connect to the runtime and check if your runtime is GPU or not if it is not GPU then set it to GPU and click on save and now open the folder where you saved the JSON file and I named that data.json now either you can uh, drag that file to the collab or you can save this file to your drive. I'm going to save this on my drive and I will access it later on my collab notebook. Um, you can choose any of the method you want. Um, I have already uploaded it. It your, In your case it might take some time to upload. And now go back to your collab notebook and mount your drive. Uh, you only need to mount drive if you have chosen the second method of uploading the file to the drive. Now once the drive is mounted you have to go go in the location where that file is stored now rest of the method are same now you have to click on three dots and copy the path of the file wherever it is located now go into the raw data variable and replace its content replace its string with the path which you have copied there now in my case it will not affect any changes but if you have chosen first method it would it would going to change make some changes and now all of your work has been completed now you can just run all these cells and at last your uh, chatbot will be ready all right so once you ran um, these cells you might see a new file in your file browser and let me quickly take you through what what this file looks like i have downloaded this file so i am going to show you through the sublime text editor um, you see GPT-2 is really good in understanding the structured data. Now we have added two additional tokens U and BOT. Um, U stands for the user input and BOT stands for the BOT output. Um, so in this way our, our uh, GPT-2 will gonna learn how to create new output based on the input from the U token. Uh, later on you would see when we give input to the model and we will follow the same structure. Now just run the rest of the files and when you say gpt2.fine-tune there you should see steps equals to 500 which stands for epochs and um, I'm going to run it for just 500 I think um, later on I would just use 250 epochs but you can increase whenever you want um, once this cell runs I will check you back all right so it has just finished first 100 epochs and it printed sample and i just want to show you that it also learns to use uh, emojis because our data set contains emojis so it learned uh, to use the emojis at right place okay so it's around 210 epochs i'm i'm going to stop it and now let's make some uh, chatting with our newly made chatbot so let's see how it performs on 200 epochs well we have uh, input and we name it as question and as i already told you we have to format it like you and bot um, structure so that it it performs better output now i'll make some uh, predictions and i will fast forward it as it takes a long time to make predictions so check it out how it performs and the best thing i like about gpt2 is that it always performs different output um, based on the same input as you could see i asked it two times high and it replied both times different and once you come on the last cell um, there you see that we can uh, store the output in a variable by using return list equals to true um, what you can uh, do with this that you can modify how the user should see the output from the bot and how how the things should appear on the screen so i think that is enough for this video and i will catch you in the next video if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give this video a thumb up and see you later